to headlining your first major card, yeah. and we know that you built your image on being a heartthrob. Do you still see yourself that way, or is that just the image at this point? It's just an image, you know. I'm really ready to prove it in the ring. You know, I heard it too many times. You know, people always talk about you good looking this, you're good looking that. I'm good looking in the ring because I punch people in the face. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a great fighter, and I'm here to prove that in 2020. I don't really want to hear none of that. You know, the girls are gonna like me if they like me. I'm about to show it in the ring. When you, as you look ahead to uh, to the fight against Fonseca on February 14th, what what do you think your opponent does well? What do I think my opponent does well? I think that he has a good little boxing IQ, and he, uh, you know, he he he. He doesn't give up in the ring, you know, no matter what, even if he's getting hit hard, he tries to win. So you have to break that with either skill or power. So uh, we're going to do that. What do you think uh, your, in your last fight, uh, coming into the fight against Fonseca, what did you learn most about yourself in that performance and how did you grade that one? Against Duno? Yes. Uh, I feel like, you know, I was just getting started. Um, I was boxing him for a little bit from the outside, but then uh, I stopped standing my ground and started was going to start taking it to him a little bit, boxing mid-range, but he got knocked out really quick, so I didn't really get to see, you know, what I could actually do, but maybe you'll see it this fight. You know, they say boxers don't get paid for overtime, so it's kind of a gift and a curse when you win by knockout. Do you prefer to win that way, or do you want those opportunities to show you have these additional skills? Nah, most definitely. I want to win by knockout because... You know, at the end of the day, you know, like they say, you don't get paid for overtime. Plus, I don't want to see how, I don't want these guys to know how I fight. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really care for them to see, you know, what happens later on the, in the round. So, because they have more to depict. I want them to watch my old fights. Like, keep watching them because they think that's how, they, that's how they're going to beat me. You see what Duno tried to do. He tried to rough me up, try to go in on me like Velez. He got knocked out. You can't keep doing, I'm 21. That was when I was like 18, 19. <laughs> you just keep watching it. Yeah, I guess. So at 21, at, you make a great point, yeah. you know, you're entering into your manhood. Yeah. You've never had a problem with weight thus far. How realistic is it for you to continue at this weight at this time? How realistic? Uh, it's uh, extremely realistic. I'm 140 right now. Five pounds is nothing to cut. So uh, I could be here for, for a cool minute, get a couple titles and leave. And lastly, a lot of your potential opponents will be keeping an eye on the fight, whether they say they are or they aren't. What message do you want to send to those opponents uh, with this performance? What message? I just think, I just really focus on myself. Like, if I could great, do a great performance, I will feel good. You know, I know those guys are going to be training hard. They're going to be, you know, working on their craft, you know, because the those are the type of guys to like, you know, they want to be the best, and so do I. So uh, I don't, I don't really worry about what they're gonna do because I know they're gonna work. But I'm, I'm gonna try to show my best performance. Thank you so much.